Thank you for joining me everyone today and thanks for that intro James, uh, I'm really pleased to be here. Uh, just to tell you guys a little bit about Startup Active, we're specialists in the fitness industry. We've built hundreds of fitness sites over the past two years, um, but most importantly we've been tracking how different layouts change different things from website A to, to website B. So we've picked up a lot of information on the, the best websites and how to really convert leads when they come to your website. So take notes today as as James said um, you know there's plenty to to note down and um, just make sure that as we go through um, you are making those notes ready to implement these things into your business um, so who are we um, we are startup active uh, here's my team here uh, so we've got my uh, my business partner there top left Josh um, and uh, myself as well um, now my team are specialists um, each of them are very very good at their role um, so we don't employ generalists everybody in my team is uh, good at giving guidance on any of their areas so just make sure that if there's anything that you're confused about or you don't know how it works in this webinar or in general then just uh, follow up with me and I can put you in touch with the right person we'd be more than happy to talk you through um, I guess the best way on uh, helping you and, and getting things out there so who do we work with uh, we've worked with different organizations all over the world um, we work obviously with the strong first community uh, James at kettlebell fever has been amazing uh, we've known each other for about uh, 18 months now um, Josh for example attended the level one certification back in May uh, took part in it himself um, and we work with other groups like NP and, and mega training as well so we work with a lot of people in the industry um, and that means we can speak the same language as you guys but more importantly your clients um, so it all works really well together we are looking to uh, <laughs> for world domination bit of a cheesy title um, but we currently take on between 10 new fitness businesses per week um, and we work with everybody from the states Canada Australia and obviously here in the UK so more than happy to help anybody on this call um, just just give us a shout so what are some problems all fitness professionals face online um, well you're highly qualified professionals you know exactly what works for your clients and what you need uh, with anything you do online is to make sure you tease what you know you don't give away absolutely everything and the reasons for that are twofold one of them is uh, the the things you know are, are based on science or based on um, you know a, a massive education that you've been taught and your audience don't know those things so it's important that you talk to people on a level that they understand and they understand that you can help them with their problem um, and also don't overcomplicate what you're telling people in all of your marketing from the website to Facebook to Twitter um, with that science so you need to balance presenting your expert knowledge and explaining to your potential clients what you will do to achieve their goals I'm just going to run a five second ta test here so I'm about to flash up a website and within five seconds uh, a prompt is going to come up on the screen just select what you think this person wants you to do on their website so here we go okay so on the prompt that's just come up on your screen now so just tell me what do you think that person wanted you to do um, or I'll just leave you there to vote for a few seconds okay there, there are a couple of you left just make sure you you click the button what what do you think this person wanted you to do okay so I can see most of you actually got that right so like this guy does not know what he's doing online so what what he's done is got everything online so he's just put everything he can think of on one page without any real clear guidance and the problem with that technique is um, your audience won't know what you want them to do um, so I'm going to flash up a website that we've built so putting ourselves under the spotlight a bit here um, but just I'm going to give you the same prompt after this just let, take a note and what do you think we want you to do here okay I'm just running the prompt again okay so just vote on that so what do you guys think that we want you to do on this person's website Okay, just click the buttons on the screen, guys. There are a few of you left to go. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm pleased to say most of you thought that uh, we want you to book 
um, uh, a consultation. That is the most important thing. Um, so we want you to book a consultation, but and then following that, we also have later down the page like a B offer. So the most important thing for the Urban Fitness guys is book a consultation with us. We, we will get money from that, and that's really, really important. Here are some of the most common problems um, fitness professionals face. Uh, I won't patronize you, you know how to read, but the most important points out of those are points four and seven. Um, number four is you need to give some direction to your users. You need to explain to them, this is what we do. Uh, this is what we want you to do on the website. And Point number seven is make sure you're better than any of your competition. Um, you need to have a decent site and this is your, your first point of reference for most of your potential customers um, and it's really important you stand out a lot more than any of your competition because you're going to be judged on this. This is the face of your business so make sure those points in particular you, you do give some focus on. Now. One thing we focus on here at Startup Active is direct response marketing, and that's the what, the why, the how, and then evoking some sort of desire, and that will always generate action. Um, direct response marketing, uh, like we, we follow Dan Kennedy a lot, a really great guy, um, and he loves direct response marketing, and it's, it's designed to get an immediate response from somebody right there and then on uh, whatever you're using, be it a website or social media, and we follow this in everything we do from hundreds of websites we've built. So I'm going to take you through the uh, the perfect website. So we've built hundreds of fitness websites and these are the most important things we've learned from building those websites. Um, so I'm just going to take you through the six most important things. Point number one, sounds obvious but people miss the basics. Your website needs to look amazing. It needs to look better than your competition. Um, so it sounds pretty obvious but make sure your website looks really beautiful because you're judged on looks. It's, it's how everything like this works. Um, whatever you do, don't build your own website whether you know we're obviously the best in the industry so we set a new bar and a, and a new level but just make sure that you know you get somebody to build this. You guys are expert trainers you're not website designers so make sure you take the time and get somebody you know who's up to date on current trends and understands the web really applies that and and it's very very important you get somebody else to do it you don't do it yourself number two make sure you have a five like a five second rule so you have a clear message Within five seconds, you want to get across that these guys are the best training facility in BlackRock. Um, follow the five-second rule, as we've been through a couple of times now. So what, what do you want them to do? And, and once you've decided that, be, be consistent throughout the entire website. Don't get your visitors to do everything on your website and give them all the options. Just get them to do one or two things and just really focus on getting them to do those one or two things. And everything on your website should support that from that point. Um, make sure you have a clear message so again the five second rule um, these guys don't offer like a training facility it's they they offer in-home training in Dallas so obviously we've used that in the titles throughout the website and just really get across that these guys offer the best in-home personal training in Dallas and that's been the entire focus throughout the website and then we've got three really easy follow these steps sort of things on on there so step one step two and then step three um, and then also make sure you focus on um, the, you know the community as well so these guys build up a community I, I guess a lot of you on the call will build up a community about strength and that strength actually matters so Hut the guy in the middle is the founder but it's not just a website about him it's not an ego trip it's it's about his team it's about showing social proof so people like your clients can lose weight they can achieve their goals and Hutz works with hundreds of people just like them so that's really important you get that across and in your own website uh, number three obviously conversion is everything so uh, coming back to my first point briefly there getting your visitors to do exactly what you want them to do is the most important thing it sounds obvious right but um, it, it's really important you don't lose that like, you know the common sense that you need to get them converting it this isn't an ego trip for you it's, it's something which is the front of your business um, make sure you know this is the perfect content flow here so 
you can really see we want them to book in a consult and then it goes down to book in a consult again uh, and then we actually try and get them to convert via an ebook which I'll come on to in a second um, and then read more about us and um, so it's just really driving traffic into the right place as they scroll down the website uh, I've circled here the main call to actions and this is one of the ideal content flows of a website so point number three um, it's really hard to get somebody to put in their details for a consult it's quite a big commitment to get a consult out of somebody because ultimately you're asking them for quite a lot of details in return for for what for them what benefit are they going to get so instead you can um, give away something like a free ebook so here we give away like the truth about fat loss um, so when they fill in their details on that first form they then go through to a second more advanced form and th this is one of our best converting forms it has around a 20 percent conversion rate um, that point number two there and the reason we get that high conversion rate is on that very first form the ebook we say fill in your name and email and we'll give you an ebook which we do we then take them through to the second step but we've pre-filled in the name and the email so it already feels partially filled out so it's not a lot of effort to then go through and actually uh, make sure you they fill out the remaining details and obviously we then go on to point three which is having a success page so make sure you don't miss that success page it's really important to track on analytics how successful your website's being and you can set up things like goal conversions and things like that through doing that this is a really important point um, we see something like 60 percent of all visits now on a mobile phone from uh, you know the data we get and it's important that you you imagine you're putting yourself into the shoes of your clients so um, most of them will be on the couch like maybe they've eaten a heavy meal and they're feeling really fat or something so like they're they're working out how they can uh, lose weight so this is where you guys come in so make sure you don't penalize somebody for being on a mobile phone because ultimately all you're doing is cutting off um, a massive percent of your audience so as I said 60% of all the visits to the websites we build um, are on a mobile phone so you need to make sure you're optimized for, for those users and you don't penalize them for, for visiting you on uh, on a device of their choosing that's that's really important point number six is by any means necessary grab their details so you know the number one thing we want them to do is book in for a free consultation failing that just drop in their details for an ebook or you might actually uh, you know try and get them to call you or physically drop in and visit the studio but by any means necessary grab their details don't let them leave the site without without capturing their details it's really important so if you implement those points we're obviously the leaders in the world and we've put in a lot of effort to stay the absolute best in the world at what we do and we've got to a really good place uh, you know over the past couple of years doing that because we've built hundreds of fitness websites and tracked website A versus website B and just really worked out what what the best converting website is so those are the important points um, and your website will be in a great place if you follow those basic principles um, and it will increase your conversion rate um, now you've got this great website but it's like how from that point how are you going to get people to visit you so you've got a great looking website um, and it's really important you get people to visit so how do you get people to you well a really great way of doing that on your own is is blogging so the most effective way of getting people to your site um, is via um, search engine optimization which basically is it's a lot of work and it happens off your website but other than that you can you can blog a lot on your website and what we're doing at the moment is laying down a, a 30 day challenge and what we're doing on that 30 day challenge is getting the people we work with to blog once a day and if they blog once a day we're, we're seeing some amazing amazing results from the website so making sure you blog on a regular basis is going to drive people towards the website and it's it's one of the most effective methods we, we do do this on behalf of a lot of our clients and the important thing is to start out hyper local so don't try and dominate you know personal training in London or anything like that but actually focus on a street name like Shoreditch for example uh, that would be a good one to start out with you wouldn't try and rank within London or East London or West London so for us we live in a small town called Hale 
and our entire focus is ranking in hail. Um, so if people rank in hail, um, that gives you a foothold, and then it allows you to rank in Altrincham, which is slightly bigger. Once you rank in Altrincham, you can start to dominate the the places around it, and ultimately be the leader in Manchester, which is you know you need to be looking at the long game. Um, but if you can dominate these smaller areas, it becomes easier to focus on things like Manchester and other areas. Some blogging hints here, so there's a big difference, just like your training, you know, I'm talking to the Strong First community here, so it's not just about lifting weights, it's about the technique and doing it properly, so when Josh, for example, was doing the uh, Strong First Level 1 certification, uh, after day one he was battered and in a lot of pain, and it's because he had never lifted a uh, kettlebell in his life, he had, you know, he had lifted a lot of weights for his entire life, but not, not really used a kettlebell properly, so he was trying to keep up with you guys and and the reason for mentioning that is his technique was bad and on day two his technique was massively improved and it's the same with you 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 need to make sure you're blogging properly it's not about slamming the the kettlebell around and thinking you'll actually gain a lot of strength it's doing it properly and building up strength with the right technique so blogging is about making sure that you have really strong keywords that are relevant to you so uh, weight loss uh, strength training uh, you know personal training group training boot camps those are all really high searched for keywords that you need to make sure you pick up on so personal training in london for example wouldn't be a great keyword because London's massive and realistically you're not going to rank there and you wouldn't want to rank there you don't want people coming from the opposite side of London to train with you um, because it's not realistic however focusing on really strong keywords like personal training in Shoreditch or personal training in Mayfair or even getting down to like the street level is a really great way of getting yourself ranking um, to write down five to eight keywords you want to target from personal training nutrition and boot camps and just really focus on those keywords every single time here's a great case study of Dan from pure results so search for any of these keywords and you'll see Dan is really really high on search engines for all of these keywords so the, the way we've done this is we've actually blogged on Dan's behalf um, at least once a week since launch and his website generates more than 35% of his business revenue month on month and his competitors are really struggling to knock him off. Um, he, the website's built on really strong foundations and you can see here th these are some keywords and, and this is Dan and all top three places here on Google. Um, so don't look at this as an unachievable goal, I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, as an example, you can see Weight Watchers in these results, some big names that yell. Um, so, it's just really important that you don't look at this as an, an unachievable goal, that you look at blogging on a regular basis and you will see results. Here, here, here are some of the best places to start. So, you, you need a WordPress website. Websites that aren't built on WordPress are pretty hard to update most of the time, so you need to make sure it's very easy to update your website. Pick those five to eight keywords and make sure you rank on them. Um, and think of the words as phrases, so like personal trainer Manchester or personal training Altrincham is, is a great key phrase. Now, don't be uh, daunted by the, this page. Um, it's basically, it's th the, the really important areas. This is WordPress, um, and there are three areas here. I mean, there's the top 10 superfoods, um, personal training Orlando, and that's really, really important that you focus on the the keyword here you've then got the the blog content so personal training Orlando and personal training Orlando again and then finally you've got personal training Orlando in the tag area now the tag area is missed by a lot of people so you need to make sure that you focus on the tag and, and draw in a keyword here um, again don't be daunted by this structure it, it does make sense once you start getting into it but the point is it's very easy to update your website so here's your high level guide. Make sure you're blogging at least once every two weeks or even better every week if you can. Two weeks is the minimum really. Um, only use one keyword per post. So here we've used personal training Orlando. We haven't then gone down here and said weight loss in Orlando or boot camps in Orlando. We've made sure the whole post is about personal training in Orlando. So what will happen is you'll have these really great blog posts which are very very focused and 
make sure you just focus on one keyword per post. Um, structure is absolutely everything. So again, making sure you touch on the uh, the top area with the title and then the, the actual text of your blog post. And then finally, the tag area on the right hand side. Once you have a blog post up and running, make sure you share it with absolutely everybody. So James does this with Kettlebell First incredibly well. Uh, Kettlebell Fever, sorry. And, and he, he's done a great job of doing this over time. So share everything you get online and really try and get it out there and get people coming back to your website. Uh, and finally, download an app called SEO Ranking. So we use this all the time. And um, it's not really something that you need to worry about for yourself so much. It's so you can compare yourself to your competitors all the time so you can see if you're doing better than them doing worse than them and just really get a feel for that we do hear this a lot that people just don't have time to focus on things like blogging which you know it's a fair point you guys need to be training clients and and getting your business rocking so we do have a blogging service um, so we can blog on your behalf um, we, we can pull up everything together so just give us a shout if you want us to pull together like a blog template for you uh, and I'd be happy to do that. Um, something as I said after this we're going to offer 16 health checks now that number is uh, we, we don't offer these all the time because health checks are very intensive so we're offering it on a first come first serve basis to everybody on this webinar and, and listening to the recording so do make sure you you reach out and We've got a couple of hundred people on this webinar, um, 60 people or 70 people, I think, that haven't actually dialed in. So basically, give us a shout if you want us to do these. We can do about four health checks a day, so there aren't many uh, that we can actually do. And starting from Monday, we're going to start these health checks. So make sure you're first there if you're interested. Get a health check. Figure out what's wrong with your business, and we'll do this completely tailored around your business and really help out. So. You'll get an email after this webinar with how to request a health check. Um, even if you didn't attend and you're listening to this recording, you, you should have had that email already, which is probably how you're here. So make sure you claim in the health check there. Thank you for your time. Uh, I'm really, really happy to take any questions uh, from now. Um, I can give you about five minutes. So feel free on the right hand side there, there's um, an area where you can field questions to me. So just fill in the details and ask any questions you need to. So uh, I'll just give you 30 seconds to, to start asking those questions. Um, and uh, in the meantime, I look forward to hearing from you for those free health checks after this webinar.